The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to talk about a Vetrex Homebrew Collection, and this is Bits and Bytes, and Bits and Bytes is a collection of some awesome, you know, pint size arcade style homebrew games on the Vetrex, all in one collection for 25 bucks. That's right. I love these hobbyist projects. You know, I've been kind of on a kick on, uh, there's several people in the retro gaming community that just do it for passion. They essentially, four parts, assemble a cartridge, put it in a case, and sell it with the permission of the programmers. And this is one of those projects. I've been really, really um, excited and happy to have a working Vetrex. And, and, you know, this was in my collection for a while. I got this from Pack Rat last year. And they do, they publish the game. And what's really cool about this is, you know, this is a this is something you can have in your collection that's, you know, limited to very few pieces. You know, I got this last year, and what's cool, it comes with a box, and it shows uh, um, some basic instructions on the back. It doesn't come with an instruction manual, but hey, it's only 25 bucks, right? And when you open it up, it's kind of cool. It's got a little foam piece holding the cartridge, and nice label on it. And what's cool is each one of these is numbered. And so mine's 47. And uh, again, uh, you know, if you do order it from Pack Rat Video Games, it's going to be numbered. So I thought I'd showcase some of the gameplay. I want to uh, heed caution that some of this footage uh, may appear blurry at times. I've tried messing around with my camera. It's the best I can do. So I wanted to show you some of the gameplay of Bits and Bytes. Let's check it out together. All right, so you hear that hum, that's normal in Vetrex. So if you ever get a Vetrex and you hear that humming, that's how they come. There is a mod for that to go away, but mine has not been modified, it's original. So I wanted to show this again, if it blurs out, it's the best I can do. Bits and Bytes is just uh, simple games and applications combined onto one cart. Again, this is very reasonably priced at, you know, I think 25 bucks, and so, uh, the, the first three are the main games, Vector Pong, Frogs and Flies, Hex, um, Space Race is okay, Quick Shot is more of a funny, um, kind of a, a fun tournament game, Doodles, Drawing, you can draw with a joystick, which is pretty cool, and an and actual clock, you can actually use your Vectrex as a clock. So we're going to go up and show you Vector Pong. Vector Pong is, uh, is uh, you can have different modes in here. Um, digital joy, two players joystick, really cool. Um, but you can different modes here: normal mode, battle mode, um, no bumpers, one bumper, two bumpers. And so, yeah, we'll go ahead and set up a, a bumper battle mode. Um, one player. So yeah, pretty cool with some bumpers and stuff. So yeah, I like that there's different different modes for uh, this game. So yeah, it's it's cool. It gets pretty intense. And again, uh, I like that there's di it's more than just standard pong. You know, you got some different modes and stuff, and so it can get pretty intense. So obviously, you can uh, you may not be able to see on the screen too much, but I've weakened some of his bumpers, and he's weakened one of mine bumpers. So it's it can get pretty intense. So yeah, so then you can set it up. So we'll do two bumpers and try that. So yeah, you can do different modes and stuff. All right, next up is Frogs and Flies. And again, uh, you can do two players, one joystick, really cool. There's two players, one player. So there's just some different mo modes, simple controls, advanced controls. Simple controls are a lot easier for me to play. Normal game, long game, short game. Uh, I like short game with one player. I like that you can have different settings there and go ahead and start it there. So you just press diagonal on the Vetrex controller and you press button four to extend the tongue of the frog
and different uh, creatures. You can grab different uh, different types of bugs, and there are different point values. Ah! So it's timing. Um, you know, this is obviously a take on frogs and flies, and it's called some frog bog, and it's called some called some different things over time. But uh, I chose a, the, the uh, premise, the duration of the game is obviously when the, the sun goes from one side to the other. That's a really cool background graphic, by the way. Man, the Vetrix had some really cool graphics. I'm really impressed with um, some of the different features that this console has done in homebrew games and sound. It's just sweet. I just really like what uh, what they were able to... So I, so I lost... But yeah, I just wanted to show you a simple gameplay mechanics. Really cool that it was able to do this. All right, next up is Hex. Hex to me is the best game on this compilation. I would say if there's one game uh, that that I would probably go back and play a bit, it'd be Hex. And again, uh, on the 1.1 version that Packrat sells now, this is uh, it has added levels. And so this is just a cool game. And it reminds me of just a, you know, if there was a vector game, arcade game back in the day, this would be a cool one. So again, uh, you can use, uh, this does support the driving controller. And you have to go around blasting these ships. And it gets faster as time goes on. So then each, after each level, you go to this bonus stage. Really cool. You have to avoid the barriers and it's got some cool music and it gets really intense. I'm using a standard Vetrex controller. Oh man, almost didn't get that. So obviously I died, goes to level two, gets faster, in the later stages, you know, multiple enemies shoot at the same time, you have to time your shots. So yeah. All right, Space Race. Space Race, to be quite honest, is not my favorite game on this collection. Um, it's uh, it's you know it's a two, you can have a two player game. It's I don't know. It's it's just okay. It's 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 obviously an homage to a classic arcade game, and and I just it's not my favorite. So I'm just gonna do one player game. You just take your take your craft and pressing one will go move forward. Two will move it backwards, and you're avoiding debris. And again, you know, this is just like a, you know, an homage to a classic game. Not my favorite. Oh, dang. But I wanted to show it to you. Some people may enjoy it. Not my favorite. Then you got Doodle. <laughs> Doodle is a simple drawing program, and you can use, uh, you know, the pen or joystick. And by pressing four, you can you can move your your controller around, and by pressing button three, you can connect. And you can do this. You can erase your crosshair by pressing two. It'll join back by pressing two again. Uh, you can erase by pressing button one. So you can do all sorts of stuff. So if you're like me and you can't draw, this is a great program. <laughs> so yeah, pretty simple.
wanted to show you that. The kid have a lot of fun. Uh, what's kind of cool is you, you know, using the, the, the light pen, you could draw something. What I thought about, you know, if someone had convention or something, they could draw something, put it on the screen and have it, you know, admission costs or something for a convention or something. I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea. So, um, yeah, wanted to showcase that. Last and definitely not least is Vector Clock. Vector Clock, again, is an application. If you ever wanted to have your Vectrex as a clock, this is for you. So what's kind of cool is you can set the hour by holding down button one, you can set the hour. You can set the minute. And adjust the speed of it. And it makes uh, chimes and it makes noise pretty much when it's on the hour. So I thought that was kind of cool. And again, you know, this is a very novelty uh, application thrown in, but I thought it was pretty neat. You can use your Vetrex as a clock. So there you have it. Bits and bytes. You can get this at Pack Rat Video Games. The link's below. And I just want to thank all the support as I march towards 50,000 subs. I can't believe I'm getting that close. Um, it's because of you folks out there, your comments, likes, and subscriptions keep coming, and it helps me out so much. I also have a Patreon in which I do an exclusive video every month. The exclusive video I did this month was an additional Vetrex homebrew game, and I just posted that. So thank you so much. You folks are beautiful and wonderful. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.